Hey guys, what's up? Woody here again for my fifth Pokemon Platinum Wi-Fi battle. So, today I've got a battle against uh, Terra from Smogin Forums. Uh, the first time I've been on there in like a week or something for an actual battle. Um, and I know he's a pretty good battler, I've seen him on there quite a lot. So we decided to have a UU match. Um, yeah, so as you can see, my team's actually three never used, but... I felt kind of guilty for using the Alakazam, so, <laughs> you know, because that's really sick and underused. Um, yeah, anyways, I laid off with Butterfree and him with his mill tank, and he must have predicted the sleep powder because he goes into Miss Magius, which has a Lumberry, and he goes for the substitute to block another sleep powder, which I predict, and U turn instead. So that was pretty cool, but. I won't have, won't have done much damage to his substitute. And as I switch, he goes for the nasty plot. Oh, sorry, not as I switch. As I bring in Registeel, he nasty plots, I iron head, kill his sub. And he goes for the hidden power fighting. Uh, could have been fire or ground, I suppose, but I just assumed it was fighting. Uh, and I stay in and go for the iron head. And that hidden power did like half damage to me, so I know I can live another one after leftovers. So I just go for the Iron Head again to try and get the kill, but he switches into this huge dick. I hate Stadix so much. Um, I decide to over-predict him here and just stay in and go for the Stealth Rock. And he does also, so that was pretty cool. We both get our rocks out for free. Uh, so I switch out and go to Butterfree, uh, predicting the Earthquake. But it still doesn't matter because I take a lot of damage from the Stealth Rock. And I'm faster, so I get the sleep powder off and put his huge dick to sleep. Yeah, and then I switch right back out and go to Gastrodon. And I make a bad play here. It was, uh, I shouldn't have went for the stockpile first. I should have just took advantage of his sleep and went for the surf. But I was uh, really fearing the toxic after I used that stockpile. I was like, damn, he could just toxic me if he wakes up. So I surfed and he does wake up, but fortunately it looks like he doesn't run toxic because he would have used it there. He runs raw instead. And it brings in my Butterfree, which is good and bad because Stealth Rock kills him. Sorry, no, Stealth Rock gets him to 1 HP, so now I can't switch him back in. Um, but I get the Sleep Powder off again. So, like I say, good and bad. Uh, I go out to Gastrodon again, trying to get the kill on this thing. But his huge dick wakes up and explodes. No, Gastrodon. Oh, he survived. Never mind. Um, so his huge dick exploded all over me, and that's not good because I'm not gay like that. Um, but my Gastrodon survives, and he brings in Toxic Croak, which completely walls me. So I go into Butterfree's Death Fodder to see what he's going to do, and he did go for the Poison Jab. So now I know it's physical, I switch in Arcanine to intimidate that thing. Um, and it obviously works because he switches out, but he goes into his own Arcanine, which intimidates me. So my extreme speed isn't going to do as much, but it actually does more than I thought I would. Maybe I'm just underestimating Arcanine there, but it actually did a lot more, even though I was intimidated. So, But then again, as you'll see here, extreme speed does do a lot if you're untim unintimidated. So, yeah. Uh, so I go for the extreme speed again, no one will kill it, and I get a useless crit. Um, I don't know if that mattered, I don't think it did. Looking from the, judging from the damage, I don't think it would have. Um, so whatever. I get some lefties back, he brings a mill tank, and I was hoping he wasn't going to attack here, so I switched in Gastrodon to see if I could sneakily recover, but obviously he goes for the return. I don't think I would have got recover off anyways, because he would have been faster than me, so. So I bring in... Braille fail, and he predicts me to explode here, because he goes into this Magius, and I don't, I just go for the Iron Head, I was actually curious as to what his mill tank was going to do to me, so that's why I went for the Iron Head, just to do something, and it worked, so yeah, uh, now he goes into Toxic Croak and cross chops me, and I'm like, no, oh, I survived again, I wish that would stop happening. So yeah, I survive on 18 health again, a lot and a half, and I explode on him. <laughs> My explosion works, yours doesn't, lol. Um, his Toxic Croak goes down, and he brings in his Milky Way again. And I go into Voldemort, my Alakazam, my Specs Alakazam, 
And the reason I didn't bring this thing out earlier was because I was really scared of that toxic crook sucker punch. Um, so I didn't want to show it. So I was going to go for the trick there, but I thought he's got two pokes left. I could try and sweep him. So I go for the psychic on mill tank and kill it. And then I, he brings in Skeptile as his last poke, and I go into Tony the Tiger and intimidate him. But it turns out he's special attack. He's, he's a special attacker, so it didn't matter. So I bring in Voldemort to go for the Signal Beam, which one hit kills that thing. So good game, guy. He I nearly never got this thing up because just as we finished the battle there, he disconnected. But I just managed to save it in time. So yeah, what a douchebag. Um. I think he was really pissed because I swept with my Alakazam and he reckons it's really scummy and underused. But, you know, I think it's justifiable by the fact I'm using three never used and I've never used Alakazam in UU before. So I wanted to see how it did. And now that I know it's kind of really stupidly powerful, um, I probably won't be using it much. I'd rather use more interesting things. So anyway, yeah, guys, that's my second battle for today. Uh, expect more tomorrow. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that shit. And as we say here in Cumbria, ta for now.